Hello, students and parents. I am going to walk you through some items on Schoology. Um, Schoology is where we are going to be putting all of our virtual learning. And so we want to make sure that you are able to access all of that information. So the first thing you want to do is look for the course that your teachers have created. We have all created new courses for you to be in. And so that's the first thing you want to do. Now, when you initially log in, you'll see your usual uh, course dashboard. And this is my usual course dashboard and I don't see my new course. So what you have to do is scroll all the way down to the bottom. And usually that's where the new courses are. So now I see my new course, which is Mrs. Edrington's online learning class, spring 2020. And this is a new course for me. So I want to see that course as soon as I log in. So I am going to take this and drag it up to the top so that when I log into my Schoology, I see it at the top and don't have to scroll all the way down to the bottom every time. Okay, so now this is at the top of my screen. Also, when you log in, you'll notice on the right hand side, it says upcoming and we are going to be adding events to the calendar. And this is where you will find all of those events. Um, and so just make sure that you check that once you get in. What I really want to focus on is how to get to the conferences that we're going to be doing. So once you click on your course, you are going to see an announcement from your teacher. You may or may not, but um, this specific course has an announcement. So you'll see the announcement here at the top. And again, you see all of the same things that we usually see on our Schoology course. So we have um, dealt with the grades before, updates. Is not something that we've really used before, but we're going to start using it. So any updates that we want to share with you, you would go ahead and click on here. And like I said, once you start doing your work so that you can see your grades, um, it will populate here once you have that work done. If you scroll down to the bottom or go down to the bottom where it says conferences, this is where we are going to have our conferences, our online learning. So this is very important. So you'll notice that there are several lessons that you have here. And so the one that I want to look at is the one that says in progress. OK, so this is the one that I want to join. And so if you click this blue button right here where it says click here, that is how you get into the conference. So we are going to click this button. And once you click the button, it will prompt you to see if you want to join the audio with a microphone or if you want to listen only. Well, you always want to click the microphone because you want to be able to speak. So I'm going to click microphone. Allow. And it's going to test. You click yes. And then so that means you're in. So you'll see your name at the top. On the left hand side, you'll see who's in the course. You should see your teacher's name. You'll see your name and then any other classmates that are in here. On this middle section is where your teacher will upload information if there's any, any information to see. If you do want to show your face, you don't have to, but if you do want to show your face in this bottom right hand corner where it says share webcam, you can go ahead and click on that button. Um, it will show you your picture and then you can go ahead and click share webcam. So that's how you get to the conferences. So now let's go back to the other conferences. Um, let's say that you are not able to make a recorded lesson. For some reason, you're not able to log in. Um, if you go to completed, um, you will see the ones that have been completed. So here is a lesson that was completed. And then if you click play, you will be able to see the lesson that your teacher taught for that day. So it's um, important that you are able to make one of the uh, sessions that we are offering. But if for some reason you cannot make any of the sessions, then you can go ahead and click on this link and it will bring you to the recorded session. Uh, let's go back to the home screen. So I'm going to just click here on materials. And the materials are um, just any information that we're going to have for you. So Ms. Edrington has a folder, you click on that folder um, and you will see all of the information that you may need for the week. The weeks are going to be broken it broken down next week. Next week, we're going to be working with week four. So you'll see another folder that says week four. A couple other things that I want to show you, if you need to message your teacher, 
If you're having an issue, you can go ahead and click on the message box and click new message and type in your teacher's name and it should pop up and you can say, um, I need help. And then in the message, you can put what your problem is. I am unable to log in and then send it. And then your teacher will receive your message. Now, if you notice that the little notification came up on mine, so it, when I log in, I notice that I have a message. So if your teacher sends you a message or there's an update, you'll notice the little notification here. And then you wanna go ahead and click on that and click on the message. And then you'll see what the message says. And then you can respond by clicking in this message and then click and send. So that's a direct way for you to communicate with your teacher. Also, if you look at the little bell, the bell gives you notifications as to what has been um, done. So you can click on the new bell. If we've put an announcement or an update, it should come up here and give you a notification. And then just like we saw when we logged in, if you go to the calendar, this will give you all of the upcoming events on your calendar. So I have a lot of stuff going on on Thursday, April 9th. This, these are all of my events that's going on on Thursday, April 9th. Your calendar is going to look a little bit different because your teachers are going to add the events in and you are going to have events on particular days, whatever days they choose to have events. So if you have any questions, please message your teacher and let us know.